Okay, uh, welcome everyone. This is our weekly residence meeting where we, where we discuss cases that we're having trouble with or that we're curious about. And so we welcome you to our, uh, our weekly meeting. And this is Shirley, nice to meet you. one of our residents. And Shirley has some um, case studies that she wants to go over with us. So what's, who's first up here? All right. So this is a gentleman, 25 year old, he's very young, and um, he's been having fatigue. Now I know that um, his breakfast is, sometimes he doesn't have breakfast in the morning, sometimes he only has apples in the morning, but he's been consistently at 40% level. So last formula, I try to add Huang Qi in Tan What do okay. you think? Now, is he overweight? No, he's not. Okay. And that's not one of his complaints, is that correct? Yes. And his plan is over in November. Mm -hmm. So he started in, what, June, June or July? July. Okay, so he's been coming, and this is September, the beginning of September, so we've got July, August, two and a half months, and he's 40% better. That's not good. He should be 70% better by now. Yeah. His main complaint is his whole body pain, mm -hmm. headaches, fatigue, swollen joints, Oh, this is because of his shoes. Oh, before <laughs> you fix that <laughs> oh, one. Can't. He's got a new pair of shoes. Yeah. But anyway, he has whole body pain and he has headaches. And of course, we're using acupuncture and we're using herbs to treat this gentleman. And uh, how, how old is he? 25. He's, oh, he's young. Very young. Okay. His pulses were always very deep, this gentleman. Even though he's not super overweight, he has a lot of blood stasis in his body. And the approaches that we've used, one was he had a lot of blood stasis in his heart, so we gave him herbs to unblock his heart. That worked pretty well. The, the pulse is getting better in his heart, but the pains are still there. This type of patient, who's not overweight, is 25 years old, and if the pulse is too deep, I guarantee you it's a blood stasis problem. Because he's not overweight, there's not a lot of dampness here. So we have been moving the blood but we've been moving it in his upper jowl. What we need to do is move it everywhere else. And for that, we need something a little bit more generic in terms of blood movers. And for him, what we should do is, we should give him this, uh, we have our own formula, we call it Vitality, but it's really a variation on Evergreen's formula called Circulation Sand Jowl. This is a combination of Zhuifu Zhu Yutong, Gezhe Zhu Yutong, Shaofu Zhu Yutong, plus Shui Zhe Leech is in there. And uh, these are just very strong blood movers for the whole body. We should give him that. Okay. And then we have been giving him herbs for his sticky, gooey blood problem in his heart. And I'm looking at his last chart here, and it's still a little sticky and gooey. Now, when that happens, if you're giving blood movers to, to, to uh, vasodilate the coronary arteries in the heart, and you've been giving it to a patient for more than two weeks and there's no change, you read the pulse wrong. Because that formula, what is that formula? Mao Dong Ching, Don Shen, uh, Circulation San Zhao, Gua Lo Shi Bai Ban Sha Tong, 25% each. That will vasodilate any coronary spasm or even a, a blocked coronary artery, it will open it up very, very quickly. So if you've been treating someone three or four weeks and you still think they have a scattered pulse or a blood stasis pulse in their heart, you probably read the pulse wrong. The heart's probably sluggish and a little weak. These are congested heart problems in the making. We used to call it congestive heart failure, but that freaks everyone out, so we call it weak heart. And these guys, He's 25, he's not overweight, but he will start to hold water. And that water will be retained initially in his joints. And then the joints will, will hurt. They'll have bee pain, damp bee pain, and that's what he has. So, let's change his formula. We'll give him Fong Ji Huang Chi Tong, about 20 to 30 grams. That will deal with his fatigue. And we'll give him 70 grams of circulation San Zhang. And I bet that snaps him out of it. Now you can get a little fancier. You can go after the dampness a little bit more by, give, by instead of using a circulation sanjiao 
70%, you can use it 50% and, and put in 20% Shu Jing Huo Shui Tong, which is very good for damp bee pain. That can go in there too. So you've got Shu, Shu, is it Shu Jing Huo Shui Tong, yeah, that's it. You can put that in there, and then you can put a strong blood mover in there, and then you strengthen the pump itself, the heart, with Fong Chi Wang Chi Tong, which also will take out dampness. Put those together, this guy will do better, I'm pretty sure. Okay? Yes, well. Anything else? Oh, we have a patient um, who is in the 50s, female. And okay, she this is a 50-year-old female. Mm -hmm. And she has she a... She doesn't talk quite loud enough. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she has migraine. And okay. when we feel the pulse, both soon are pounding hard. Yeah. You know, like, and then um, the right soon on the neck area is also pounding, but the soon is the one that's... And what does the chu feel like? The chu feels a bit pounding. Too. Okay. Almost all migraines or headaches are caused by neck pain. You'll see this clinically. Yes, I know the books talk about liver, yang, rising, and liver wind. That's nice, but I'm telling you clinically, it's their neck in almost all cases. And if it's not their neck, it's either their sinuses or there is a sinus problem along with the neck problem. That's why they'll, the pain will start in the back of their head and will zoom forward and then it meets up with their chronic sinus condition and now they, they have sensory nerves in the face that are swollen and throbbing combined with this whole sensory complex coming out of the back of their neck and then their whole head hurts. Okay. How do you know if there's a sinus involvement? The right soon pulse will be pretty energetic and pounding. Now, is this pulse available from the top all the way down, or just the top, or all the way down? Just the top. Okay. When the pulse is pounding at the surface, or just a little bit below the surface, forget what you read in school, it's not accurate. A pounding pulse on the right soon, when you, you know, it's pounding, and then you push on it and it disappears, this is too much exuberant dry heat in the sinus area. This is a dryness. These are yang ming pulses. They are dry pulse. When dryness will push the pulse up. So it means that their sinus area is hot and dry. This will aggravate all these the facial complex of nerves, the trigeminal nerve complex and the and the three branches of the facial nerve. And you know, they can easily get a frontal headache. And then they have this sure pulse on the right side, which is pounding, indicative of neck pain. And therefore, they have both problems. Mm -hmm. From an herbal standpoint, to deal with the neck, you can give them Chuan Xiang Cha Tao Song, about 20%. You can give them Gagan Tong, which is, acts as a guide formula, 20%. You can give them what we call Seattle One. We have our own name because we're, we could go, should probably call it Paul's Bow One, but nobody ever heard of <laughs> Paul's Bow. So, Seattle One. But it's really gardenia formula from Evergreen, so you can get that. That's an anti-inflammatory. You can put that in there. And then you can put in the, the, another Evergreen formula called Flex Spur, which is just basically a painkiller for the neck. And you can use 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay, that's 80. Now what are you going to do for the rest of the formula? The rest of the formula, you go after the sinus problem. And you have choices. You have to get the heat, the dry heat, out of the sinuses and you've got there's ways of doing it you can give uh, 20 grams of Huang Qin will work or you can be fancier you can give Huang Lian Shang Qin Wan about 20 you can you can give um, the gardenia formula which you're already using for the neck so that's already in there uh, you can use astringents, which are really good. Uh, we use Hudza, Wubetsa, Tiamwa, Fimbaiwe, and... Uh, no, we, Sabaya. Yeah. yeah, Sabaya, not Sushi. Yeah, Sabaya. So Sabaya, Hudza, Wubetsa, Tiamwa, Fen, and Baiwe. We call it astringent 5, and that's what we use. You can put that in there. That will shrink any swollen membrane inflamed membrane in their sinus area. The Huang Liang Shang Qing Wan serves as a guide formula for that. That will take the dryness out of the right soon. So you can use that along with the, the herbs for the neck, give that to the patient, 
even without acupuncture, their migraine will go away. Now what if, it's, if the pulse, the right soon pulse is pounding on top, middle, and bottom? If the right soon is pounding on the right, middle, and the bottom, that's even worse. That's even more excess heat. Mm -hmm. It's the same approach. Same approach. Okay. It's the same approach. You can add uh, some sort of antibiotic for these people. You can use the what we call a five huangs. Yasha Huang, Da Ting Huang, Cha Chi Huang, Hu Yao Huang, and Shu Wei Huang. You can use those. Li Zhu Huang, also. There's lots of Huangs. They're all antibiotics. Or you can buy that ABX formula from Evergreen. That works too. You can put that in there. That, that will take care of it. And if it's still dry, if, if, the, if the migraine's better, but they, you still feel that exuberant pulse in the right soon, you can. Um, you can add a little bit more of my mendong, tian mendong, something like that to moisten it. The gardenia formula is nice because it takes care of heat everywhere in the body. Okay? Thank you.